All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for Grixis Control version two. Uh, you probably saw that yesterday we tried uh, updating Grixis discard from last format with uh, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, and it didn't work very well for us. Um, we lost a couple of times to aggro and we were just losing a lot of close game threes against other blue black decks, um, but wasn't really going our way. So what we want to do here is just try a different version of Grixis. Um, you know, finding the, the right home for Nicol Bolas, Dragon God can be tough. And um, so I'm basically just switching it up. All right, so our last Grixis deck was really built around disinformation campaign and clearing out the opponent's hand with a uh, campaign before you start playing your threats with the two Nicol Boluses. It, was, it is really slow, um, but it you know can be effective. The games that you don't have campaign can be kind of rough because you don't you don't have like the ability to clear out their hand as well. Um, and then like if they have so then they use their removal spells on your couple threats, and you can kind of peter out and just draw a bunch of lands and and so on. Um, so what we're doing here is we are adding in some more threats. Uh, instead of going with disinformation campaign, we're playing Thieves Andy instead, because as y'all know, Thieves Andy is just also just a just a very, very powerful card. It just takes over games. So since we're going Thief of Sanity um, instead of Disinformation Campaign, it's also just kind of, that means we need to change up, like that's not just a one-for-one -one trade that you want to make. You basically need to kind of change up the whole deck um, instead. With, with Disinformation Campaign, we needed Discovery to go along with it so we'd have enough Surveil. And when you're playing cards like uh, discovery and campaign on turns two and three you're not affecting the battlefield at all you're not like ha playing any removal or anything like that and so that's why we had all the ritual of suds so we could catch up if we're playing thief of sanity uh, we don't really want ritual of soot because you don't want to curve thief of sanity into ritual of soot that's not a, a good curve so if we're not playing ritual of soot then we need a lot more cards on turn one and two to interact with the opponent um, so we have duresses to be able to protect thief of sanity uh, we have Carnival, um, which also Carnival, uh, its value goes up now uh, with this version as well. Um, I guess I'll talk about Carnival in a little bit. But as you can see, we have a lot more removal besides, um, like, instead of having R Ritual of Soot. So we have the Moment of Craving, the Lava Coils, the Carnival, the Angrass Rampage, an extra Bedevil. We got a lot more cheaper removal. So since we cleared off Ritual of Soot, that was a four mana card. And... We can have Carnage as a four mana card also against everybody that's just uh, four mana, make them discard two cards. Um, but so, like, it's, it's, this is like a really nice split card. I didn't want to play this with the other version because of kind of how expensive our curve was with Campaign and, and Ritual of Sets. And we even had Contempts also. Um, you know, we we're a much bigger deck. Um, but now we have something else that can fill our four mana slot with Carnage. That's also a good cheap removal spell against aggro decks that I want because I don't have the ritual sets to catch up. So I want to be able to double spell and Carnival is a card that helps you double spell. Um, late game, uh, you know, we, you can get to clear out their hand with Carnage before you drop a Thief of Sanity kind of thing um, and have Thief of Sanity take over. Uh, you can do, you can play like that Carnage and, and clear out their hand before a Nicol Bolas also and all that kind of stuff. Um, Hey, Sculpt of Mind. So that's, you know, people were asking about, like, what, what are, like, the changes in the deck and, and why. So that's, this is basically just a different, um, you know, basically everything's kind of changed here. This is a, a, just a different version of Grixis. Um, so in our sideboard, that's where I'm getting going the sweepers. I'm going with Cry of the Carnariums and Ritual Set. I'm especially going with Cry of the Carnarium for, like, Mono White. We're going to be a little worse against like Soltai's creatures, like not having like Ritual of Soot, as many Ritual of Soot to clean, to clean up Soltai's creatures. But I'm hoping that these extra removal spells help us out. Um, especially, I like Carnival in that matchup because Carnival against Soltai kills all the Explore creatures before they explore and also kills the Land War Elves and everything. Um, so if we're a little better there. I also have some Hostage Takers in the sideboard against like whenever people take out a little bit more of their removal post board against us um and that that's a good card against sultai of course y'all know like when the games go longer hostage taker hostage taker a hydro crisis is just awesome and i'm going to try some eat uh enter the god eternals against aggro also because we're better against we're 
we're better main deck against control with having Thief of Sanity, so I'm trying to have more anti-aggro stuff in our sideboard. God Eternal Kefnet is likely not supposed to be here. I'm still kind of trying this card, uh, but this is likely supposed to be something else. I don't know, maybe another Carnival Carnage or some other threat or just, you know, something else. This is likely not supposed to be here. The biggest card I was the most um, disappointed in from playing yesterday with, with Grixis Control and also just playing other decks and everything. I was actually just really dis uh, disappointed with Narset Parter of Ales. I thought Narset was going to do more for me. And even in like the other version of Grixis Control, I have like Narsets in the sideboard and I think these those should just be Thief of Sanities um, for other control decks. I don't know, just wasn't as impressed with this card. But people were able to not have to draw like basically the games are more about Thief of Sanity and the Narset like Narset does not beat Thief of Sanity straight up kind of thing. That's the problem, Narset. All right. That's a lot about cards. Let's give it a try. And go with Grixis Control version 2. Yes, Narset is good against Reclamation, but not good in Control Mirrors. I, I found that it to be really lacking against other Grixis and Esper decks. And I was really disappointed with that. But yes, against Wilderness Reclamation is a different story, but um, against the Grixis and Esper decks, Thief of Sanity was the card that mattered and not Narset. All right, decent opening hand with just some spells. We, you know, need to start drawing into our more expensive things. All right, we are playing against the red deck. So I have a moment for a Pyromancer, an Angrass Rampage for another Pyromancer. So it's that like at that point, or sorry, a moment's rampage for a chain whirler. So it's at that point, do I want to take the other chain whirler or the skewer? I'll take the other chain whirler. Hmm. I mean, this is good against Viachino Pyromancer. It's not a land though. I I want lands. Yeah, Unmorty Go. Unmorty Go can do a very specific job for you. Unmorty Go is the kind of card that people will. It's very easy to misplay it and try to bring it in too much, um, but it, it can do a very specific job against like Wilderness Reclamation decks. I I like saying Reclamation against the Reclamation decks more than anything else, more than Nexus. For example, especially if I'm casting and they don't have a Reclamation online yet. Um, but, yeah, it can kind of do its job. The thing is, is you're usually bringing in... You know, like, you're bringing in Unmorty Go out of the sideboard, right? Like, it's not a main deck card. And out of the sideboard, a lot of people will likely have a diversified threat portfolio that can shrug off Unmorty Go. On its face, Unmorty Go is card disadvantage. You're paying three mana to discard a card, basically, just to remove a few cards from the opponent's deck. Because remember, even if you get them from their, their hand, they redraw other cards to refill their hand. So you have to, like, you have to, not only just do you have a card that doesn't, that's card disadvantage on its own, it's also, it also costs mana um, for you to play and, and everything like that. It's... It can be rough. Alright, down to six. Get a land. Ugh, a shock land. Ugh. So do I want a shock land to play the Dragon God? Because Dragon God does make them, you know, it does get rid of one of these lands. Shocking is rough. Hmm. 
Man, this is just a really tough call. All right, so shock, because shock blocks frenzy. Uh, tap, negative, wait, tap, nope. Two turn, clock, regardless, tap, don't shock. YOLO. <laughs> Chad is split. It is basically two cards they need. Either way, it's just it turns on a lot of other cards. They need like two, three damage burn spells. I'm going to do tapped. Mm. I will spare you in exchange for eternal servitude. My revenge will be paint. My schemes are never ending. That's pretty big. Now they they need to draw skewer the critics basically because they can lightning strike plus skewer the critics. So we're going to decline, let them draw. <clears throat> All right, we're down to four. This is good. My schemes have been foiled. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. All right, what do they got? Yeah, that duress was a great top deck. All right, so let's get this other duress, get these negates in here. Uh, God Eternal Kefnet can do something. Enter the God Eternals. Get rid of those Reborns. Cut a Dragon God. Um, I think we can cut the Ascantas with this version here. Then we're at 63. Probably four duress, four Thought Erasure is just too much. Let's go one Thought Razor down. Um, So Thief, I actually kind of like Thief. Um, you know, it's just going to require a burn spell, but it it can take over. I think maybe just another Dragon God out. And maybe one more Thought Erasure out. Yeah.
Let's go with this. Cause yeah, Thief gets you gets you more gets you burn spells that um <laughs> Why did I draw two Nega Balls Dragon Gods? Uh why do I have two of those things? Why is this bird good? Because it's it's a four five. It blocks everything. Four five is pretty big. It attacks, you know, attacking for four each turn, like it ends the game in, in pretty big chunks. It blocks very well. It's just it's a very good sized body for the price. For the mana cost price. These lands are separate because they're different named. Like one's Watery Grave, one's Drowned Catacomb, so that's why they're separated. Benthic Biomancer costs five mana. Kefnet costs four mana. I need, I needed, I needed to, I needed to cut another Dragon God or even both of them for sweepers. Let's get these Cry the Carnarians in here. Yeah, I need to cut those. Or mulligan my hand. That was my bad. It honestly didn't really matter which Wizards Lightning or Skewer, they're both very easy to turn on. Um, yeah, but it's gonna, maybe if I killed all their creatures somehow. Wizards Lightning would be more difficult than Skewer. I don't, I don't know. They'd, they're both easy to turn on. Get him, thief, get him. Dang. Alright, draw that cry of the carnarium that I put in here. No. I am definitely worried about a frenzy if I just play thief. I'm just taking four though. All right, we're dead. Not able to cast our spells.
All right, 0 and 1. Mono red matchup still very difficult for Grixis, especially when your opponent has a hand like that. That was a very good hand for them. I I should have mulliganed my second hand, but oh well. So sharp, Chris. What do you mean by which one do I like more? Do you do you mean? I guess I can answer. Uh, Sultai Flash is a better deck. Vant Super Friends could be a more enjoyable deck if you like. Um, I mean, if you don't like doing the the Sultai stuff. I would mulligan this on the play, definitely, but on the draw. We have two draws to get a black source, and then this hand looks just fine. And we have we have more black sources than anything else. We got 18 black sources in the deck. Right, or is it just 17? I guess it could just be 17. No, yeah, it's 18. Yeah, we have 18 black sources. But that's still just 18 out of 53 that we need to draw. Hit either an 18 out of 53 or an... 18 out of 52. Hit one of those. It's over 50%, but it's not like a, you know, it's not great odds. Hmm. Right around there. Yes, absolutely. The black-white deck we played yesterday could be viable. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> but yeah, like, like you said, it's really early in the metagame, but... Yeah, I thought that deck was pretty good. Speaking of black-white decks... Yep, we ended up going 5-3 with the Mardu deck. Ooh, it's Espa. Well, let's try to draw one more land. We get to... You know, Thief is likely dying, but then we get to Carnage and make them discard a couple of cards before we play the Dragon God. Yeah, I think at the, like the very end of the stream yesterday, uh, you know, if you if you saw the end of it, uh, we talked about a couple of changes to maybe make to the black white deck with the uh, uh, mono white matchup in mind. So discarded another contempt and a Kaya's wrath. No, my bolus, my dragon god. We can draw another one. Close enough. Great draw. Nickel Bowl's Dragon God. I think their last card is Negate for how they shocked in that other turn. It seems like that their last card would have been Negate. And that would place them at drawing that Kaya's Wrath off the top. Which makes sense. We drew the Thief of Sandy off the top, of course, too. So. No, I won't check all. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, so it does look like their last card was negate. Man, they had one card negate, and we drew the Thief of Sanity. But we did not. We need to move quickly. 
did not get there. They had the Kaiserath. Maybe we'll draw another Thief of Sandy. Ooh. That was perfect. You. You sacrifice a Planeswalker. That was a perfect draw. Way better than a Thief, because they drew a Cry of the Carnarium. Okay. Transform. Dang. <laughs> it's almost like I would have rather had a land there so I could transform the Nicol Bolas and grab it to Fairy, but... I am a god once again. I think uh, having another Bolas will be just fine. All right, so against Esper... Do I want these hostage takers? Maybe. I feel like they're going to be on, on Thief, like... Right, like it's just it's just like a battle of thieves. Here. What six cards do we cut? This is just simply Carnage, four mana sorcery, discard two, deal three to you. Which is a really solid sorcery. That's a it's a good card. Also, if they if they minus a Teferi ever, we can just Carnival and deal one damage to the Teferi. Yeah, I'm I'm good with not playing Kefnet. All right, Kefnet out. So Coil and Craving are protection against Thief. We'll probably don't need five removal spells. So if we I guess Craving's just going to be better than Coil, except for against Hostage Taker, if they play Hostage Taker. Down, down, down. What are the other two cards we can take out? We got Angrass Rampage, which is good against Thief, too, so that's, that's a lot of removal against Thief. Don't think we can take these out and just have just have the five removal spells for a Thief of Sanity? It's kind of risky. I'll play one. I'll play one Carnage and one Moment of Craving. We'll just go the coward's way out and play one of each. Yeah, Carnival doesn't really do very much. It's it's basically Carnage. Like even that game, like you saw how Carnage took out two cards from their hand. It's you know, it's just mind rot for the most part. Um You know, it's mind rot that also deals damage, um, that has upside of pinging a Teferi after they minus a Teferi. It's one of our weaker cards in the deck, but it can it plays a good role. So in case there's another thief, I got rid of that dragon god to try to look for a second removal spell. At 98% before that, we even move up. When you bend the Dragon God to the opponent, assume you have one. 
I think the biggest assumption there when you've been Dragon God, the biggest the biggest assumption is that you're missing land drops. I think that's the, that's the number one assumption. And so that, yeah, you likely have, have another one. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good assumption that you have another one too. But they, or that you just don't, or you have a lot of other spells and you don't have lands. I think that's that's the first assumption I would go off of. All right, so we'll take the Dragon God. We'll play as Kanta. They can thought they get to thought erasure us and take the duress. Mugger. Interesting. I mean, yeah, this just dies to the cast down, but it gets the cast down out of their hand, I guess. And it, it, it like, you know, takes up their turn. And if we draw another thief, the second thief can be better. Wow. Hey, Sas Sasquatch. Welcome back to the stream. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Get some hype boats in the channel. Sub number 15 on the day. Five away from our next goal there. Elstraborn's good. We can go grab Nicobolus or Liliana. Either one in a little bit. Dread Horde Invasion is really good in this matchup, of course. As we talked about, I don't like it at all. It main deck of Grixis is just so bad against aggro, but it's, you know, it's a good pre board card to have here. Could also just go with Eva Sanity. Could go Thief, clear out their hand. No, I'm gonna grab this thing. Will resonate. No! Let your weak Minds crumble. Why are you yelling no?
Oh. Defiance has consequence. That was rude. <clears throat> bolus killing my bolus. That was rude. I was at a great time for our opponent. Mortality suits me well. Gonna start just trying to, to take out their resources. So I tick up here, they get to hit Bolas once, but then I get to Lava Coil the thing. Do not defy me. That's a good card. It's two resources. So how much mana we got? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm one mana short of play bolus, flip bolus, but we can, we do have enough mana to do everything. So we get to coil the three three, play thief, and play bolus, make them get rid of this, enter the god eternals. Nice, Monster Talk, you got your metal, your black metal quip toothbrush in the mail. Dude, those quick toothbrushes are so nice. Okay, get ready for game two. So I want to go less... Less all in on Duress Negate here. Creatures are certainly important in this matchup. Maybe something like this. Still have a decent amount of removal for like their Thieves Sandies here with the the. I guess I mean Coil's just better here because of Bolus, right? Let's let's get all the coil, keep all the coils because of Bolus. Maybe play a hostage taker. Carnival's good against every single. I mean, it's just a good kind of a lot of places. Like the Carnage is good against control. The Carnival is good against all the aggro decks with the one toughness things. Deliver unto evil is. Not too strong of a card. Just not, yeah, it's just not, like giving your opponent the choices and everything. It's not that good of a card. I kind of want to play, not play this moment of craving, but I want that extra thief removal spell. What if I just play a hostage taker? I don't know, Let's let's try a hostage taker. Moment's a better card to have in my opening hand, but Hostage Taker is a, a lot better card to draw later. I guess their six card hand was really bad. And they did not want to go to five. Some people don't like going to five. What is this? We're number 1169? I thought they only number the top thousand. You get numbers higher than a thousand now? 
That's weird. That's weird. They number the top 1,200? Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think Grix's control is viable. Mono red. Sweet, not mono red. Ow. Get back to being mono red. Really glad we have double moment of craving in this hand. So moment of craving keeps the dread horde butcher, you know, turns it into a zero zero, so it doesn't do any damage to us. Todd randomly playing newly brewed decks on Mythic ranked and getting higher and higher. Yeah. I like what our opponent's putting down. I'm, I'm picking it up. I'm picking up what they're putting down over there. I like it. Hmm. So do I want a moment of craving the priest or bedevil or neither? I guess neither. Let's just pass. That's risky, giving them a priest. This is risky. They didn't play anything last turn, though. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Let's start the chapters going towards Nicobolus the Ravager. We could, you know, next turn we'll play our sixth land drop and have the second chapter. The turn after that we'll play our seventh land You're drop. We'll get Bolus off. back, be able to flip Bolus immediately. Bolus could get back Dragon God. Can all work. All of the multiverse will bend to my will. So us having my revenge will be pain. My intellect is without limit. Them having menace doesn't matter. They do get to yeah minus and make it, another four four, for it. and then kill Bolas with five here. But like if I if I minus Bolas, they would be able to kill Bolas anyway. Wow. Okay, so they are hitting me for a bunch instead of killing Bolas. So they can pick up gutter bones. Crimson Rum, welcome back. 16th sub of the day. Y'all get some hype in the chat here. All right, let's go to my graveyard. Your graveyard looks lame. Yeah, my graveyard looks cool. Sixteen. All right, so f uh, four, five, six, seven. So they can attack for seven. Do I need to bedevil that th four, four? Nah. I have defeated death. I know all there is to know. 
I know what must be done. All right. Now we got a lot of loyalty on our planeswalkers. We got a bunch of cards. Time to start killing everything next turn. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Flip Ravager, draw four. <laughs> Woo! Too many cards. Cry, cry, cry. Soot, soot. God Eternals, God Eternals. Take her, take her. Give me all those. Dress out. Thief. Out. Eldest Reborn out. And this looks pretty good. Do I want do I want Kefnet? Kefnet's kinda cool. Kefnet over what? Over like an Ascanta? Kefnet over a Nicol Bolas Dragon God? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool. <laughs> I think I should have bedeviled the priest and then played Thief of Sanity. I like how slow this hand is, but I love this card. That one's not bad. I don't know if we do that, our dragon god's gonna die. I don't know if that's too big of a problem or not. Alright, Dreadhorde Butcher is gonna deal a lot of damage to us. Ugh. Another one? Card so good. I liked it better when I had Moment of Craving. I mean, I need that card, but I need Moment of Craving. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. Can't complain too much. We're doing this whole Dreadhorde Butcher thing to our opponents previously. No, I need that Enter the God Eternals. I could see them taking Bedevil. Yeah, Butcher real good. The Butcher of Dreadhorde. Whoa, they took Bolas? That was like my worst card. So we're at three right now. If I put this over here, that's four. Playing Bedevil is five. Uh, next turn, we put something over, so over there. That's only six. We don't get to flip. So I, I'm just going to keep it. We need to make sure we have untapped land for enter the God Eternals next turn. That does not shock us. Add a moment of craving on top. That's unfortunate. 
So I didn't mill them, because milling them, they could just put gutter bones in the graveyard. Milling us means that we definitely get to flip search for Escanta. So that's pretty cool. that. So they're going to get it, their own Nickel Bolas Dragon God. Next turn. Like, I want to play my Nickel Bowl as Dragon God, but then I don't want them to just play theirs and kill mine. I still just play it. I will remake the multiverse in my image. I will return. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. Alright, Rampage is good. That lets me kill theirs. All will bow before Nicole Bolas. We still have the Ascanta now. Another suffer for your cause. All right, so we're at five. And they get to draw first. It's a tie ball game up. They get to draw first, we get Ascanta. They bricked, we bricked. Ugh. They bricked. We bricked. Stop using double black. I'm like all my black sources. I don't like it. Ooh, that is not a brick. That is not a brick at all. Yeah, they're just using three black sources here with that auto tap. Three of my four black sources they're trying to use. Like, we would not have even been able to activate, you know, cast Nickel Bowl's Dragon Gun. Yeah, looking back at it, if I would have just... So if I would have just activated as Kanta instead of playing my Bolas... I can't beat this Theater Horrors from here, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I can. No, I can't. I can't beat that. We die the next turn.
All right, one second. All right, game three. It's not a bad one. Gruel Dinosaurs last on Saturday. Thank you for that donation, Joy. If I'll write write that down there. Let me get my pen. Priest Gutterbones at War Boss. Let's take War Boss. Keep that. Thank you, Joy. Alright, so. Uh, Gruel Dinos. Last Saturday. Cool. I can do that. Because Ugin, Ugin is really expensive. Like, not playing Ugin for... Enchantment hate in the sideboard, it's just really expensive. Alright, they didn't play their gutter bones. So let's just play that. Yeah, Monster Sock, let me know. Yeah, with order and quip, you get a donation deck. Hmm. Clear this hand up. All right, Rimani's good. Oh, right, it costs two less. Man, that was good. Forgot about the whole it costing two less thing. I was like, should I spend four mana? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can't do anything with this other three mana right now. Getting those out of there. Just racing. <sighs> Kefnet puts a good clock on them. Well, Gruesome Menageries, that's a great card. That's a great card. Yes, I'd like to reveal Moment Craving. So do I want to cast another Moment and a Rampage, or do I want to just Hostage Taker the Priest?
All right, Kefnet's doing work. Mayhem Devil, and that's whenever either player sacrifices a permanent, so I should probably not sacrifice permanents. Okay. I was just gonna Bolus, make them discard. I guess Bolus was probably the best play. Maybe Hostage Taker was a better play. I don't know. Alright, we are in top thousand. Hooray. This Grixis deck is working pretty good. I, I'm liking... Um, yeah, Kefnet looked awesome. Yeah, it was just... It ended the game quickly, got us a couple extra cards. Um, yeah, and, you know, just hitting for four. Like, that's a that's a real clock. And then, you know, if we can delay them long enough with our extra cards, which, which is what we were able to do there. So we lost that rough one to Mono Red, where I should have mulliganed my my game two hand like after winning game one I think if you want no if you want chemistry's insight in the deck I think you have to you have to change the deck even more and just go with a, a more controlly kind of deck um and you know a lot more instants like counter. Ma Basically, you want counter magic. If you if you want chemistry's insight, you want counter magic, kind of thing. Man, these people with their an game one anti control cards. Let's see if we can clear away for thief. We are not clearing away for Thief. Kind of want to take Chemistry's Insight. No, we'll take Sabotage. Wow. All right. Have you empty your mind. Yeah, they got a complete anti control deck over here. No land. Let's tidy up in there. No land. Ugh. Injury the land. They get to Contempt Thief, and now we get to land Bolas. At least. the thought in case they found the removal spell I definitely want the other bolus they still have a oh no they don't have the sabotage anymore okay thought they had a sabotage still but we they discarded it to the bolus Cool, I got you, Monster Sock. Uh, what what day would you like me to play your deck there?
Yeah, Davriel did some good work there. Megas discard three cards. That's not bad at all. Sunday? Okay. And like do you have like a, a round of time like how I play I play four decks a day. Um Yeah, so first, second, third, or fourth. Which which slot would you like? All right, anytime. All right, writing that down. Yannick, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome back to the channel. That is sub number 17 on the day. Only three away from our next sub goal. Thank you so much, Yannick. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Looks like I'm regretting not bedeviling my turn. I didn't bedevil my turn because... of... You know, I was seeing if they would play like a Thieves Sanity that I wanted to... You know, I was trying to keep my options open if I needed to take out instead, but I guess I, I really should have just... Just killed it. Yeah, it's a fun with the band super friends. Most fun deck I've played so far is maybe the Gruel deck we played yesterday. Do you think I can bank in on discard like Mind Rot if I play three copies of Kefnet? I'm not sure your que what your question means. I don't quite understand your question. So they look they look straight up blue black. Boarding like we did against like the Grixis deck earlier, which I think was something like this. I guess I I don't think I played the hostage taker. I think I played this. I think I would rather have Hostage Taker here, especially on the play. I played one Hostage Taker, that's what I did. I played one Hostage Taker. Yeah, okay. Oh, you're just saying, can you, yeah, yeah, don't play like actual Mind Rot. I like the main deck Duress that we have. Uh, Duress is good against basically everything in the format. There's not really decks where Duress isn't good against. And um, I think it pairs really well with Viva Sanity. And it's there's not a lot of good one mana spells. And it's a good one mana spell. So yeah, I, I like the, having these main deck Duresses in this deck. Yeah, as one short, um, our land was a shock land, 
and so I was not able to flip Bolas with the shock land. All right, so I'm not going to keep this hand because these are all blue red lands. Like we, we're it's not only a five land hand, but it's like a five land hand that has like no chance of casting Bolas. Let's send it back. This is not the kind of matchup where mulliganing is good. Like, every card matters so much here. So, like, mulliganing is really bad for us, but I think we just need to do it. If if that if that hand had, like, two black sources, I would have been keeping it. At least our opponent's on six cards as well. Yeah, it's, now it's only tap land, so that's <clears throat> that's our problem here. But I guess we can't have everything. We'll see if our opponent has everything, because if they do, they're likely beating us. Hopefully they have more duresses and negates. Oh wait, I only have one creature. I was thinking I had two creatures in my hand. We, have, we only have one creature, never mind. No, I don't. I don't like regular Demir. Um, I think that. I mean, this is also true for the old format. So maybe, maybe this format. But I think that just playing Grixis or Esper is better than playing Demir. See if we can beat a search for Escanta. It's probably going to be pretty tough. Uh, Ure. Uh, check out this site right here to help looking for uh, decks and everything. There's just tons of decks on there. You can see how much all the decks cost um, as well. You can, you know, you, whether you need like a budget deck and for paper online. There are underneath all those, that, as you see at the bottom, there are budget decks also, especially for paper. Maybe something like that. Beating us Kanto is going to be tough, but we're going to try. We got some good threats here. Oh, come on. Multiverse. A little ridiculous. Do you like how, you know, like, this is... Nickel Bowl's Dragon God is, you know, really good. Getting Even making them get rid of a land is, is strong. So what card am I discarding? Am I discarding Negate, Thief, Bedevil... 
I guess maybe negate, because like this third chapter is gonna get a Nicol Bolas Dragon God, right? Oh, I don't I don't have a, a Dragon God for them to get. Fury, I guess I was just always looking at this Dragon God over here. Ending. So maybe Bedevil? Yeah, I guess Bedevil then. Come on, let me untap. Let me untap. No, it should have been negate, so I can bedevil Nicol Bolas. I don't know, like, this can minus and kill anything. As long as they don't kill my Dragon God right now. Hmm. That's annoying. Your my schemes have been foiled. Now I can't deal with the Nicol Bolas, though. Yet. I should maybe even just cast the Duress first, so they can't exile with the card in their hand. Uh, well, I'm glad I didn't cast Duress first. I will return one day. Let your weak minds crumble. We had Davriel in hand. They did put the Kefnet back over here, so if they want, they want to activate as Kanta. They know a Kefnet's not any good. I think we have to let Nicol Bolas Dragon God die if they attack with Nicol Bolas the Ravager. Dragon God's just going to take over, though. Y'all think we should trade? Just double block? That's not bad. Hmm. Alright, I'm in. I'm in for a trade. Yeah, the Kefnet comes in against aggro. Ugh. Ooh. Well, that worked well. Scummer with the Twitch Prime sub. So they have to get rid of a land. Thank you so much, Scummer. That's sub number 18, and now we're two away. A moat of my power. I think that that is a. I feel like that's a. A bug or something, that, 
Nickel Bull says no whenever the opponent's sacrificing something. <laughs> yeah, I think they could dial his voice line back a tad as well. Yeah, they want to exile their card in hand. Go ahead. I hope you don't mind. I have other schemes to attend. My intellect is without limit. I don't know what you're trying to do with these counter spells. All right, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God. Wait, that's just game two? No, that was just game two. All right, so they are playing a bunch of Kefnets over there. Kefnets don't die to Lava Coil, BT dubs. Hostage Shaker, not so good against Kefnet. I'm going to put in another Duress in on the draw, get another cheap spell. Uh, that Super Friends deck, it's all about, it's all about Bio Essence Hydra, like that's just a Bio Essence Hydra deck. I don't like mulliganing. Really don't like mulliganing. And we do have turn two thought erasure, but like if they have if they have turn two thought erasure to take my thought erasure, and then play Thiefa Sanity. You know if they have thought erasure into Thiefa Sanity, this does not beat that. Oh, well, we're going to try it. Hopefully they don't have that. A flip card has the same CMC as the other side. Well. Hooray. Ooh, no thief. So... Search for Escanta or Dreadhorde Invasion. I guess I'm going to take the Dreadhorde Invasion. Yeah, Flip Does Kanta has CMC too. get both. Gross. Need to hit that land drop there. Make them discard that elder, that elder spell. Ugh. Really need lands. It's not good. I think Blast Zones has not... Yeah, Blast Zones has non-land permanence, right? I don't think Blast Zone can f kill a flipped Ascanta. Yeah, Mass Manipulation is a viable card. For that, you, you need to... You need to have a little bit more ramp for mass manipulation. You know, I don't really like it in like a 
Grixis deck here, but like it's that's why it's so good with like the creature ramp spells. Are you kidding me? Uh Draw nothing but five mana cards. Just everything on the top of our curve. So opponent's gotta have a bunch of counter spells by now. So expecting everything to get countered. Escant is gonna flip, they could go find more counter spells. We lose, you know. Yaddy yaddy. This game went perfectly for our opponent. I don't know, I guess we'll just, we'll just keep playing. We'll see. What a disappointing game this was. Disappointing game. Wow, we dropped a long ways. All right, one more match tonight. Three and two. Ugh. These ranks, you really go up a ton and go down a ton when you lose, huh? So we were at like 11.69 and then went to like 8.74 or something like that and then lose and now we're at 99%. So we're under 1200 now. Hmm. That was rough. Loss wise, dropping so far. Do I think that... I think that Nickel Balls can be modern playable. Probably not. Five is a lot for a Planeswalker. I, probably not. Get all those expensive spells over there. Oh, they have another shock. That's unfortunate. I was hoping that they were gonna have to just that they were gonna have, like untap and use their lightning strike on it, because then they couldn't play the chain whirler. But them having the shock.
All right, let's see what their last card is here in hand. We'll go ahead and just take it. Whatever it is, and we got to beat a couple fire fanatical firebrands. Um. Nah, we don't need the Escanta. Hey, Nad. Attack. <clears throat> it's a little bit of a tough choice for them, but I, I would assume that the firebrands are going to kill the thief. It's not the easiest choice, though. Born, not so good. Not so good here. Good news, we are at 11. We need them to like whiff for like a couple of turns. Thief just has such a higher upside than um, other cards. All right, Skewer the Critics. That was a great card for us to see. Okay. Good job, Destroyers. Hit Platinum. Way to go. Alright, let's get rid of all these Thought Erasures. Um, get rid of the Eldest Reborns. The dragon gods. If I go no thief, it's going to be kind of hard to actually win games. Really relying on just Bolas and Kefnet to win. I mean, I guess this this makes a four four two though, so I guess that's it's even more four fours, and we got the hostage taker to take something. Okay, all right, yeah, that's that's fine. We got a lot of four fours. We got seven, seven four fours, and two hostage takers. Uh. This list, actually, I still have this link up because somebody asked about it earlier. That link has a, a ton of deck lists. Um, if you want to see my decks, uh, that's where you can find all of my decks right there. War boss is going to be annoying. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, that war boss is gonna be annoying. Playing Watergrave here, we need double blue for Enter the God Eternals. Yeah, the, carn <laughs> the Carnival felt really good. The Angrazer Rampage here feels really bad. <laughs> so, kind of a feels good, feels bad. Back and forth there. But I'm really glad we got rid of a Frenzy. Definitely glad there. We'll draw a Wrath. Cry the Carnarium, Ritual of Soot. Ooh, Ritual of Soot. Let's do it. Milling myself because they could have, they could have risk factor. Ah, we hit search and then three lands. But yeah, milling myself because of risk factor. Stop. All right, I'd like to draw. I wouldn't mind drawing a land here so I could have Bolas with negate backup, which I guess, I guess that means we're shocking. So we can protect Bolas. Protect that thing. Got there. So finished up with a win versus Mono Red. Good showing for this version of Grixis. Grixis version 2, Grixis Control V2 looked really strong. Um, you know, I lost, we lost one to Mono Red where I didn't play the best. I didn't, I didn't sideboard very well and I didn't. I didn't sideboard or uh, mulligan well. Um, you know, we learned our lesson there in that match uh, the first time we played Mono Red. Um, you know, like I, I didn't even bring in Cry the Carnarium Ritual of Set like the first. Uh, I did. It was bad. <laughs> um, I was kind of used, to, you know, used to playing like old. It was the first match. I was used to playing the old Grixis deck, or like not the old, but just you know, like yesterday's Grixis deck, and just didn't didn't sideboard very well. Um, and so made up for it that time. And then our other one, we just lost a blue black mirror. Uh, game three, I thought we were going to win. Um, but we just drew all five drops and no lands. Like every draw stuff was another five drop and no lands. And the opponent drew really well after we thought Razor them. Drawing that like that Dread Horde invasion. Anyway, uh, the deck felt really good. Felt really smooth. Uh, I liked it quite a bit. Um, I think I liked. I think I liked this more than the disinformation campaign version. Um, the campaign version is really built to beat like Sultai. It's uh, the the version we played yesterday was really built with Sultai in mind, and you know there's a lot less Sultai these days. Um, so I liked this. I liked the power of thief. Enter the God Eternals felt pretty good in the sideboard there. Kefnet was like surprisingly good. I mean, not, I don't know about surprisingly good, but against like that Mardu, or I guess it was just the red black aggro, it was awesome there. Um, but yeah, it felt good. I don't know, that's that's six. Yeah, we have six five drops. Is that too many? Maybe. Um, Elvis Reborn was pretty quality for us, though. Uh, we, we just had that one game against uh, 
like a blue black mirror where we just got stuck on five. We only had that one game. Um, whenever I whenever I bring in Enter the God Eternals, I'm going to be you know that against aggro. I'm cutting Dragon Gods. We're not so we're not really playing more than six more than uh, five six drops against any more than six five drops. Sorry against anybody else. Um, so yeah, Grixis Control V2. Uh, version 2, success. So we'll uh, continue to work on it, though. Yeah, you can find all my deck lists there. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And, um, wow, we have 1,500 viewers in here. Maybe, maybe I should play another match. That's a lot of viewers, but no. I'll just pick it up for tonight. We're going to be back tomorrow playing more standard. Um, normal stream time is from 3 to 10 Eastern. Where's Tyrant Scorn? Not in here. Tyrant Scorn is just not as reliable or good as the other removal spells. I think in here. Um, all right, so there we go. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.